guys if you're new here welcome if you're not new here welcome back today i'm excited to tell you that i am no longer a regular person at chanel i am an insider at chanel what i mean by that is it has taken me time time and money to get to a certain level with a sales assistant a particular sales assistant to be invited to shop the collection before the entire world is able to shop a collection i still don't have an invite for the shows yet but i don't really care if i'm able to shop the collection before anyone else i'm happy i'm content so today we're gonna do a little tiny haul and it's not gonna be a boring haul because i know a lot of you guys are like oh, Steve Mark, Steve Mark. i will be doing vlogs in association to these hauls soon like they'll come up soon but where applicable i'll insert like a little footage of me shopping in the mall um picking up some of these things because i thought it was quite an exciting experience like i said in my previous video us regular people we don't get to see the collections before anyone else unless you're like friends with a sales assistant or you have a good relationship with them or you're a vip i'm not saying i'm a vip i'm just saying i've spent time building up this really good relationship with a sales assistant and she now messages me every time she's got new collection pieces in like she did a few days ago the new collection actually comes out officially tomorrow the spring summer 20 20 collection oh my god we're in 2020 whenever i want something from a new collection i'll just send her like whatsapp her a picture and be like hi babes do you have these obviously i don't call it babes i'm like and she's like yes we'll be receiving this or yes i will get this for you and honestly she is so amazing she always finds what i want and today i'm excited to show you guys the first piece from the spring summer 2020 collection that i picked up there wasn't a lot from this collection that I really love, but this was one piece that I just was obsessed with and I was like, yeah, I actually need to get this piece. So I asked you in my last video, do you guys like me doing like Instagram kind of unboxings or YouTube unboxings? A lot of you said YouTube. What I meant by that was, do you like me unboxing it here right now, like pulling it out and showing you guys? Or when I've got the camera focused on the product and unboxing in that Instagram kind of way. I think I'm gonna do that now because I wanna post this on Instagram like right now because I am so excited. And yeah, but let me know what you prefer. Maybe for the other bags, I'll just show you like unboxing like regularly. But yeah, cause did I just hint that I got another bag? So here she is. It's like a houndstooth print kind of tweed fabric. There's a bit of like, I don't know what, but it's got woven into it Coco Chanel. I don't know if you guys can see very closely. So cute. And this is champagne hardware. When I saw it in the store, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's silver hardware. And then she's like, no, it's definitely champagne. We have the sticker still on it. And this bag actually comes in two sizes. When I first saw it on the app, I just saw the big size and I was like, wow, I really want this bag. And then when I asked her if she had this bag, she's like, yes, we received the mini classic size and i was like okay i don't really have many mini classics and i do really love this size so in comparison to the small it is actually quite a bit smaller this is the navy caviar mini double flap classic bag <laughs> and it oh, it is a lot smaller um but it's fine this is also a single flap so there's a lot more room but it is such a beautiful bag to just kind of like throw on with a boring outfit and i just love this bag so much when i saw it i was like this is just one piece i want to get out of the collection there were the other classics and then there were like the crazy pieces but then this is one piece which is like it's kind of a classic but it's also a little bit less basic so that is why i picked up this little baby to be honest i'm glad i got this size and not the i think it's a medium if I'm not mistaken, because I would definitely wear this bag a lot more. There is actually a back pocket as well, so there's lots of space in there. And I'll show you guys how long it comes down on me. It's not super long. Like, it comes down a decent length. Like, it's not, like, it covers the ninny. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really good length. And you can even, like, double this chain and make it, like, a handbag. I really doubt I'll double it ever, but... It's nice to just wear doubled sometimes. It's pretty similar to the pearl bag size. I'm so happy with this purchase. This is just a really great find. Then in the store, I'm gonna show you some vlog footage of when I was there because she, 
opened the cupboard, she showed me an array of different colors and different bags, which I had told her I was interested in purchasing from this collection. She showed me a majority of the colors that I was after. And then she opened the cupboard, that holy cupboard. This is the new collection which she's brought out for me. A majority of them are lambskin. This is like the red lambskin with like champagne. This is like a gray kind of brown. It's not translating on camera. Wow, this really is not translating well on camera, but it's like the brightest green. What? I'm gonna try and take a picture of it, but like it's just not showing up. It's so nice. It's literally like the bamboo. Wow. And then I really wanted this one, but then I'm looking at it now and I mean, I love the black hardware. I've always been a big fan of black hardware, but it just, it looks creased. And I get that's like obviously the effect of it, but it's just not cute. And then we have a purple. There's actually two shades of purple that came out this season. I do really love this because the gold looks great on it. I don't have a purple bag. Like I've never had a purple bag. But the bag that I got is not here and it's not on display. Wow, she showed me the bag of my dreams. I'm so happy with my current collection, but this just completes it. This is one bag which I feel like everyone needs to have. And I think I mentioned this in the vlog, but they've discontinued it. So that's a bit unfortunate. And then she even wrapped it. She said that there was like one piece left and I was like, yes, I will take it. <laughs> There was one on display which she had in the cupboard and then there was one piece which she kept aside for me. She was like, no one has touched it, don't worry. And I was like, okay. So here we have another Chanel bag. I'm never gonna get sick of saying that. So let me guys know which kind of like unboxings you prefer. If you prefer me doing them like this or like how I previously did them for that bag. So here we have the box. That's just a care card. I'm just really, really particular about my um, packaging. I just love it. Actually, oh, that did come with a dust bag. But this is obviously the classic flat bag dust bag. I just hinted it's classic flap. It is indeed a classic flap. Okay. So, big one. And here we have my sweet child. The new Chanel Beige Claire. Wow. I honestly, I've dreamt about saying that for so long. Um, I low key gave up on finding this bag again because when she told me it was discontinued and that they're super rare and hard to find, I was like, okay, that's it. I'm never getting this bag. It's, it's not happening. But then she found it for me and my life is now complete. Okay. And it's got gold hardware, which is exactly what I wanted. You guys know I'm just a sucker for gold hardware. I just can't help it, but I just, I just love it so much. So I'm gonna take off all of this. Here we go. Oh my God, isn't she beautiful? Wow. And I've seen this bag so often on the resale market for like, for pretty much the retail price, but it was silver hardware. And I'm not gonna buy silver hardware. And one thing I actually really do love about the Beige Claire is that over time, it does darken. The color becomes a lot darker and it's really nice. But it doesn't become too dark where it's like hideous. So obviously this is the small classic flap. Exactly the same as this blue one. As you guys know, I'm currently creating a color wheel or just an entire library of Chanel bags in this size because this is a perfect size for me. I'm five foot. These bags sit so well on me. And although I've always really loved the medium size, I feel like buying the small classic flaps in this, in this particular size is just just appropriate. You can clearly see the difference in the gold hardware on the Beige Claire and the champagne hardware on the navy bag. Next purchase from Chanel is unfortunately not a bag, but it is from the new collection. It's a pair of shoes. And no, it's not a pair of Aspidrol. I promise you, it's not Aspidrols. 
I'm trying to evolve from those. In fact, I haven't actually worn the ones I bought. Why did I get them? Like, they're so ugly. These are my tweed Chanel Bally flats from the Spring Summer 2020 collection. I love them because they were navy. They'd go with my navy bag and they had a pop of red in them, but they're also black, so they can go with black as well. And obviously the white running through is just a great color. I just love tweed and I love this shoe. Like it's just everything I've wanted in a shoe. So that is that, like how stunning are they? I feel like they just go with everything. And I was actually looking at a pair of the kitten heels for my mum. They don't actually come in this color, they come in a really nice pink. So I looked at these, they're new for my mother because she absolutely loves this style of shoe. She literally has every single color. And this is like such a lovely color, but I don't know. I mean, personally, I hate it. Well, I love it, but like I just wouldn't wear it. My mum doesn't really come shopping with me. She likes me doing like her shopping and our shopping together, in fact, a majority of the stuff that I have, we always end up sharing because our shoe sizes are the same. We have the same sort of taste in bags as well as jewellery. So everything that we buy, we share because we're all girls in this house, living our best lives. Okay, so next we're going to go on to jewellery. Now, this is something I've recently become obsessed with. I just love jewellery, diamonds, gold, love it. And I'm sure you guys have realised I'm turning into a bit of a hoarder. I just love having everything on me and like what I've kind of done now is separated the bangles. So I've put my Clash, I've put the Serpenty Viper bracelet from Bulgari and the, um, the nail all on one hand with my watch because I like how it looks like bangles. And then I've put like the Cartier Diamond Legers, my tennis bracelet and my Van Cleef Alhambra all on one wrist. But I always alternate, I just love mixing it up and I love having them all on one wrist. I know a lot of my friends have like stacks of like Cartier and like, and though I love that, I think my style is just a bit more eclectic and I feel like the bangles just look too harsh on me. So what I like doing is mixing up my style, mixing pieces together, like you see on my neck. I just have really random pieces on and I love that. I love being able to express myself through jewelry and the way that I dress. And also, particularly with jewelry, I feel like each piece has sentimental value to me. I was like, I feel like I need to start getting more for my neck because right now I have a necklace that says faith in Arabic. I have a religious sword necklace that I had made in diamonds and this tiny little um, pear-shaped diamond choker. I love these three pieces, but I was like, I feel like I want something a little bit more. I wanted something dainty, but I wanted something that was unique. And I had a dream about this one Van Cleef necklace, although I really wanted to get the matching Alhambra necklace to this one. One thing I didn't actually know is that you can actually attach the bracelets and the necklaces together to make a longer necklace. I thought that was quite cool, but I wanted something else. I wanted something which I hadn't seen on anyone really yet. That is why I got this special little piece from Van Cleef. So this is the box that it comes in. I'll go through the box first and then I'll show you what else comes in the bag. Inside this box, you get this jewelry box, which I think is so great. I love this about their packaging. And it's kind of like a travel box. You can travel with it, but they also give you another one. Here she is. Here is my vintage Alhambra motif necklace. So this is actually in rose gold. It's kind of like hammered gold. They're tiny little motifs. They're not like the big ones. You can see in comparison, the size is quite different. I've never really been a long necklace kind of person, but in my dream, I was wearing this doubled around my neck. And what I love about it is you can like literally wear it like as a choker or you can wear it like, you know, as a nice necklace, but it's just so cute. It's so easy to wear. Although I wish this came in yellow gold because that's what I really wear around my neck. I love mixing gold. I think it's just so great. Before, I never used to like doing it, but now it's just a part of who I am. In the bag, basically, what did I get? The receipt. I'm not going to go through that. Oh my God, they gave, they gave me a coffee table book. The Asuline coffee table book for Van Cleef. I love that. They've never given me that before. And then they actually give you a proper travel case for your jewelry. So this is just for the necklace. Um, there's like a little thing inside. Then they give you the authenticity certificate in like this little box thing. 
necklace suite alhambra and you have all the details on that these are things which you should always keep with your jewelry and my mother likes to keep everything like this in the safe and i'm so particular i've become like her because it's so important to have everything that's expensive insured so that's why we keep all of these things and then when i was in there they do this to you they they drag you in they're like oh we see that you've got something nice on would you like to see something similar and i'm like yeah go on then and she pulled out this really stunning bracelet it wasn't something really necessary at the time but it was something i really liked and i was like you know what why not <laughs> so i got that too and here it is i actually took this back to get resized i unboxed it and then i was like oh wait it's too big let me take it back to get resized so we'll switch to that vlog now so this is a new one obviously it's a lot larger than the white one because i had that resized i had about eight lengths taken off i need to get this one size two what we're doing now you guys know i love watches jewelry and accessories and stuff and i think van cleef do my favorite watches for like like evening watches you know they're just so beautiful they have like these artistic pieces there's constellation ones that one where like the planets like move or, like the sun something moves around the something <laughs> and here she is after being resized this is the onyx vintage alhambra bracelet and this has five motifs basically i get approximately eight links taken off this because it's just too big otherwise she also gave me the links in case i gain weight so you've got all the links in there and it was really great initially when i first got the white one the mother of pearl resize at the time it was around like the holiday period so I don't know why the jeweler couldn't do it. He's probably away. But this time, there was a jeweler in store that was able to do it. So he did it. Same day. Well, actually, I went back the next day to pick it up. But here it is. You guys know I love monochrome. Black and white. I'm going through a phase. Or maybe this is just a way of life for me. Everything from Van Cleef comes with a certificate. So here is the certificate. Now that my wrists are stacked... My fingers are looking a bit bare, and I think my ears need some ice too. Even though I love mixing and matching, I love being like... Look, I love being mismatched, but I also love having a full set of things. And it doesn't necessarily have to be in the same colour, but basically, you guys know, my first ever real item that I got for myself from Bulgari was this beautiful bulgari serpenty viper bracelet in rose gold it has um diamonds on it but i was in love with it and then i was like i saw the rings and then there is also another collection of the serpenty bracelets in the full diamonds i am obsessed with those i think that is like my next thing to get my mother does have one but it, it's like locked in the safe and we're not allowed to even look at it or even think about it so hopefully with my next adsense check i'm going to go to bulgari and pick one of those up myself for now we'll settle for something else to join my new bulgari family just i'm really having a bulgari moment right now i love it again like cartier bulgari comes in double boxes here we have my new bulgari serpenty viper earrings so i chose these in white gold because everything on my ear i don't know if you guys can see all my maria tash piercings are actually in white gold and when it comes to my ear i'm not really planning on adding more holes to it and changing up my earrings is just a bit of a mission but I decided to go with these delicate little Serpenty Viper earrings in full diamond. They had a bigger piece, but wow. The price is also a lot bigger as well. These are little tiny white gold hoops. So stunning. And to open and close them, you can kind of like tighten them. They have like this clasp at the back. You kind of press down on it and release it. I haven't had earrings in my main holes for the longest time so i don't even know if the hole's open where is the hole that is what they look like on cute right simple easy to wear very elegant 
not in your face tacky but that's what i love about my jewelry i love picking up dainty little pieces stacking them wearing everything all at once and yeah thank god these holes are open i actually did not check but i was just like i really want these earrings they're so nice and i actually got these when i was with ansi so i'll show you guys that vlog maybe next week there we go i'm not a huge earring kind of girl i'm more of a dainty little diamond demi-fine jewelry kind of girl whereas even though i do love a bit of costume jewelry i just don't love it in my ears because it actually makes my ears bleed i'm allergic to fake gold so i can't do that even if it's coated in gold no um, I also just love earrings which I can just keep on and not have to take off so I'm actually going to be changing this Maria Tash one they only put it in because I wasn't allowed to get a diamond hoop apparently I'm just when you get a piercing they don't want to put a diamond hoop in first so I might even put a, well I was going to put like a hoop in here like around this like kind of like a cuff and then here I might get like a little lightning bolt or actually a brand of diamonds I have not yet invested into, which I really want to invest into because they have this really cool concept, is De Beers. De Beers have my first De Beers diamond and I want my first De Beers diamond. So I think I might just get a pair of really cute my first De Beers diamond studs. So I love that. I love how my ear is looking stacked like my wrist. My father really disapproves. Every time I see him, he's like, I see how we need a hole in your ear. He hates it. He absolutely hates it. And he also does not like how I look so mismatched. But dad, no one's asking you to wear it. And then we're not done yet. But this is the last piece, unfortunately. Um, this is something which she showed me when I went in to look at the earrings. And just walking away from this piece was just so difficult. I had actually seen this in the airport and I really wanted to get it. I ended up spending money on something else. And I also don't like wearing diamonds to London. I was I was going from Dubai to London. And if you guys have been following me, you'll know that when I go to London, I take off all my diamonds. I very rarely even wear a watch. And I don't think it is worth the risk anymore. I'm not saying London is very unsafe. Because I do spend a majority of my time within Central. In areas which you really wouldn't consider like any crime to occur. But... It's been happening. People get stabbed outside Harrods these days. It's not great. Um, I actually got down on one knee and proposed to myself when I gave myself this. Here she is. The Bulgari Serpentine ring in pink gold with diamonds. Isn't she a little beauty? I don't have any pink gold rings, so this was great. We can say goodbye to the nail. And this little baby can sit right here so this is the bulgari serpentine ring so stunning i'm obsessed it looks so nice and it's not like super in your face there are bigger versions but this was something i was like no it's simple it's elegant it's just a little bit of diamond so this is my current situation guys rings bracelets watches and all yeah, so Bulgari basically give you authenticity cards. I don't know which item of jewellery this is for, but this is basically the authenticity card. This is what they look like. That's everything today. It was a pretty exciting haul, I know. But I'm hoping you guys enjoyed it and like enjoyed the snippets of it. I will actually be trying to vlog more. I went through a phase where I just did not want to vlog. I was just not enjoying how intrusive it was. Even though I control everything that I film, I feel like... People always have something to say and honestly, I just can't be bothered with it. I will be definitely putting out the vlogs where I shopped the majority of these items properly, hopefully soon. Like I said, I was kind of off vlogging for a while, but I'm definitely trying to get back into it a little bit more. It's just, it's not really something I enjoy doing so much, but when I do feel like doing it, I will do it. In fact, I have loads of content which I've not uploaded since December. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tap that subscribe button, hit that bell, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.